Now, the Columbia City Council once again considering what to do about short term rentals. It was back up for debate today at their meeting. News 19's Peyton Lewis is in studio with the latest on what the city plans to require from owners of Airbnbs, Verbos and similar arrangements. Peyton. Kaylin, the city of Columbia has been discussing implementing more rules and regulations on short term rental properties. That's where people rent out their own home or one they own as alternatives to hotels. Now new requirements for short term rental owners could be imposed in the next month. A heated discussion over what to do with short term rentals took place during a Columbia City Council meeting on Tuesday afternoon. The whole reason we're talking about this is because of the invasion of the non owner occupied homes in less than 500 areas. units in the city of Columbia. There's 27,000 long term rental units. Some people have complained the homes in their neighborhood can essentially become hotels, but supporters of the rentals say any new laws would stifle a new type of business operating in the city. Council members spent time debating a plan to put a limit on the amount of short term rentals allowed in residential areas and requiring business permits for each short term rental property owned. The proposal the proposal would also require out-of-state property owners to have a local property manager within a 45-mile radius of the rental property. David Massey also feels passionately about the issue. He lives in the Heathwood neighborhood and says the house next door is listed on Airbnb. But he only found out after finding bags of trash around his neighbor's yard after a party was thrown. Our problem is we do not believe these non-owner occupied out-of-state investors should be allowed to buy out properties in our neighborhood. While the debate for short term rentals went on, the death of Councilman Joe Taylor still weighed heavily on people's hearts and minds. Massey believed the short term rental topic should have been put on pause after this loss. And we would ask that the city refrain from voting on this until our neighborhoods get our voice back. But Councilman Howard Duvall says discussions will continue to try to work towards amendments to the current proposed ordinance. Although no decisions were made in this meeting, if the proposed ordinance is fixed and worded the way Mayor Rickenman and council members agree on, it could be up for a council vote in the near future. I would say that it's probably going to be February before we can um, revisit with some changes. The next regularly scheduled city council meeting will be February, February 7th at 4 p.m. Reporting in studio, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX.